Well, welcome back. Here we go on another great video. This time we're going to talk about correlations and using out of the box analytics in Tableau to just do some really strange things. You know, with the EPA data, which is a government agency that measures everything, you know, we were able to look at years. And what I started thinking was I wanted to analyze changes in policies and how they have an effect on data. And so I find just to begin this analysis, I thought maybe I can correlate the different presidencies and when they could do things. And so my first thought was Obama was in office for quite a while. And so you know, certainly policies he would have had affected and put in place certainly would have come to fruition at the end of his term, particularly at the, at the eighth year. There have been many, several years under his term and he put many, many laws into place and set up much policy. So certainly the year eight, his term would have had a huge influence and it probably has a huge influence leading into many years after that. So I wonder what kind of correlation there is between Obama type effects and say maybe Trump and or Biden and how much of influence he had over the whole thing. I know he did some pretty substantial increasing things. I mean, certainly down here in Florida, he expanded the definition of the Florida Everglades and that was pretty significant. So he was a very influential president. So let's take a look at that and just do it. So to do some of this, I actually created a data set I just played with the data. You didn't have to do it this way, but I basically went in Excel and I copied out the first four columns. And then I took the eighth year of Obama, which is my measuring point, and then the third year of Trump, only because I don't have the fourth year of Trump in there. Ideally, we would have taken the fourth year of Trump in this case, but it would have been a um, interesting one. Maybe it's better that we don't have the fourth year because we had the COVID effect, which would have probably maybe perhaps would have changed pollution. So we'll get that data and look at the COVID effect. So maybe that's not, maybe the third year Trump is there. So maybe Trump didn't have enough time to do anything or change anything. So we'll take a look at that. Um, and you may see all these policies coming out of Obama. But once I created a new sheet, I went data new source and I went ahead and, you know, picked Excel after I created it, clicked on, clicked on the sheet. It said oh, open. I'm not gonna do it again because I already did it once. Then inside the data source, I had it here. I brought the correlation sheet in, which was had these, and this was just really the um, 2016, the last year of Obama, and this is was the last year of Trump really, which was pre-COVID in that regard. So then what we did there was I grabbed Obama, I put Trump in, and it summed them as it always does. Then I put state into the detail. And look, you kind of have it saying interesting because look, except for these some of these outliers, they're very tight line here. It's really remarkable. So let's go over to analytics. Let's grab a trend line, drag it over. You can pick any one of these. You should know what you're playing with because statistics matter. And the default goes to linear. And you can see that there's an 80, the R squared is 84.84, pretty high. The P value is very significant you know, 0 0.001, that's outrageously significant. So definitely you could say that it's a strong correlation between the Obama administration and the Trump administration. And it makes sense in a way because he, Obama was there for so many years and set so many policies. And it takes a long time for an environmental policy to really take effect unless it's something dramatic that you do at once, maybe like COVID where we shut down the whole nation. We have to get that final year to see what it looks like. But Obama certainly had a big effect there. and. This one here is really analysis by state, right? And looking at the effects of one presidency on another by state. So by president by state. Now, in fairness, the presidents the states actually do a lot of their own environmental policies. So maybe a lot of this doesn't change, but maybe the national EPA does measure it and the states control a lot. So very close to, you see these things out here, Alaska, Obama had a lower number, Trump had a really big number. I wonder if this has something to do with the for Oregon, hmm, the forest fires. Let's we'll have to look at that in a minute. Let's go take another one. Let's take another look at these two. Let's create another one. Obama, Trump, and you know, certainly I believe Obama would have had greater influences on things that he could have done set measures. Let's look at pollutant codes into the details. You see as you add dimensions, it adds and expands it, basically creating a scatter diagram. 
Then I go to analytics. I go to trend line. It defaults it in. Oof, by pollutant code, almost a nine, R squared is 99.99. That's huge for real data. I mean, very seldom do I see real data come up that high. And there's no real outliers here. This is pretty spot on in, in that regard. You can see from every one of them, they're just, they're just right there on top of each other. Um, in that regard so it's, it's interesting and as you add more dimensions these things change so we added color we could have added let's go back we so far we added these two but we could have like in the pre previous one in the state one we could have added the pollutant code here under color and you see it creates the array with each one of the pre each one of the correlations you can look at each one of the pollutant levels and what the r squared is by each one and how it goes and where it's trending and, and then of course you have the pollutant code over here so that looks a lot like the chart we first started on and then this one was really the one we had done where it was about by pollutant code is by and it's all spelled out By code, and then the next one really. Let's take a look at these fire. My hypothesis is maybe the fires are causing a change. Let's look at Obama and Trump again, and let's look at fire policy. There's a lot of discussion of that, and of course that pops up like also. I put a tier one description in to the detail, creates a scatter diagram. Now look, we have some outliers, wildfires. Look at those highway vehicles. Hmm, interesting. But let's play with these wildfires let's play for fires in general and just we'll shoot that trend line out here and voila you have these high number but if we were to put the tier one description into the filter and pull it out and only looked at the tier ones but I could use the tier one code but I like the description so I can see what's in there Wait for it, did I miss it? There's the arrow there. So, I could have pulled over the fires. They make good prescribed fires too. Nah, let's just focus on fires for a minute. Place the one number, and then we expect that. Um, maybe we can bring the state in as a dimension and increase the level of details. That we have <laughs> look at this one's really interesting um we're seeing it still seems to be significant but significant but the r squared didn't went down quite a bit um to 78. it's interesting and you can see some of the outliers here in california well we saw that that makes a lot of sense um in alaska we saw that too there's certainly under the trump administration a lot this is some problems that we had there i don't know who's the fault or who's not in Washington. Also very big outliers, you know, on what's going on in Oregon. Trump had a lot of fires in his administration. Other than that, there was a tight congestion on everything else. And you can see, see things there. Let's add some color to the tier one description. So we can see, oh, could we filter out some wildfires by state? That, that was a good move. <laughs> we could have probably put the, um, let me undo. That. Oh, I pulled the filter out. That's cool. Colored by tier one. It's just one, so it makes no sense. I think blue and colored by color. We every time we add a dimension, it expands it. So just what I think about maybe colors doesn't matter here. But anyway, you can see how we're expanding these plots and putting the plots together. And um, this is tier one. These are by tiers. My hands are cold here. And I thought that was pretty interesting because, yes, um, fires evolve for different reasons and policy probably affects that as well but you can certainly see the outliers and we saw that is a lot of the um 
northwest was having a lot of problems, but then we still see a lot of tightness. Uh, even down here, there's just there was a lot of fires under the Trump administration, and maybe it was just policy happenings as well. So there's probably some policies that were affecting that, and certainly Trump was very challenged with some of that. Not as much on the east coast, per se, but certainly out west, there was a lot of um, fires for whatever reason, Montana. And that created a lot of the outliers. Other than that, it was pretty tight. Um, I hope this analysis helps, shows you how to use the out of the box functionality to get some calculate R squared and P values, build some scatter, scatter diagrams, some trend lines, and those kind of things. You could you know, consider those things. You could also add other presidents in here and other points and just add them in a sequential order, and it will create multiple charts in the rows and then you can look at different correlation between different presidents. You might be able to go back to the previous president and look at how that president might have influenced Obama and then take it on to that level. But I won't do all of those in this video. I just wanted to get start and show how we might look at things. I'm excited to see how 2020 looked because the COVID probably had an effect on the pollution. So we'll be looking forward to doing that. That's all I have for now.